In today's video, I wanna take you through the Notion template, which I've been using for the past year, which has helped me plan and track all of my goals. And it works by basically focusing on the inputs rather than the outputs. So rather than focusing on just the visualization aspect and picturing how amazing your life is gonna be once you achieve that goal, it focuses on more of the things that you can actually control. So looking at a goal-specific to-do list, as well as a built-in habit tracker to make sure that you're showing up regularly for your goals, as well as metrics that help positively reinforce every time that you do, so that you stay motivated throughout the year. Because we're not just visualizing the success this year, Year. we're putting in the habits and the actions behind each and every single goal to make sure that we actually make it happen guys i can't believe we're here again it is the third year that i'm doing one of these videos and they're always the most favored of videos that i do on my channel and i absolutely adore doing them because i get so excited to create my yearly planning templates on notion and in this video i want to take you through one that i actually spoke about last year but i've made a few changes i've adjusted it a little bit and i just really want to sit down and show you how this template will help you and basically the things that i've learned and how I've adjusted it to make sure that 2026 is the year that we achieve the things we want to achieve. So grab a beverage, sit back, relax, and let's go through how we're gonna be setting our goals in 2026 to make sure that we become the best versions of ourselves. So this is the main page of the planner. It shows you the goals and the projects that you're currently working on. We've also got our upcoming tasks. So this shows you any tasks which are currently happening this week that need to be done, the next three months, goal specific to-do list. So any tasks that are related to a goal you can see here and get a quick overview. These are also broken down as well. You can see the deadline, but also I've got the countdowns. In my brain, I see a date and I think I have more time than I do, but I don't. So it's good for me to say, okay, I have 67 days. It's kind of a better metric for me like I prefer seeing that so I added that here as well you can also see an overview is of your habit check-in so this is for the day so if you check in anything off the day like exercise meditate study Spanish you can do so here and you'll also get a daily progress bar so you can kind of get again a visual representation of how close you are to achieving all of the the habits that you have in any given day you can click here and add your vision board image if you wish this is again a really nice way to kind of visually see everything in one place but when you first come into the template I know it can be really overwhelming when you get these notion templates of like where do I start what do I need to do so with this one specifically there is a guideline section so you can kind of go into here and work your way through the steps or you can go to the check-in so when you go into here you will be making a new page which will start off a new year and what you can do is start at the end of the year and this will be the review for the year that you've just had so you'll be looking at kind of like maybe the milestones and the achievements that you've had this is just a space for you to kind of like reflect on the previous year on the things that have gone well and maybe the things which haven't gone as well and maybe have been holding you back and then this is like my favorite section of the reflection part is looking at your highlights for the past year it made me realize how many things that i had done which i completely and utterly forgot about if you're someone like me and you take a lot of photos and if you don't then maybe that's something you should do in 2026 because i think it's a really great way to spark these memories because it, things happen and it's so easy to forget about them but by doing this activity you remember such small details 2024 i did this and i remembered so many small things that i did like i can show you an example i went for like a morning hike and sunrise in marbella like dressing up cute to see my friend got a new shower in my apartment i got lots like new plants i was reading a book it's like all of these things that are so small but remind you of the amazing year that you've had and all of the achievements that you've had that maybe you would forget and seem so minuscule it's such a great way to reflect and see that actually no i've had an amazing year and these things should be recognized and this for me was just like i love doing this and i'm really excited to do it for 2025 because i feel like i've forgotten about so many things that i've done already after you've done that you can then go into reflecting and planning of a new year. With this, I added a section where you look at who you are currently. So who am I currently? What am I doing? What's happening in my life? Where am I right now? And the way that I like to do this is write a huge ass brain dump, like without even thinking, like just fingers to keyboard and just brain dump. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really have to make that much sense. Just get it from brain to I was gonna say paper, but to notion of where you are now and the things you like about yourself, the things that you don't, what do you do in your spare time? Like get a full picture of who you are in this moment. And what I did was I took this brain dump and as much as I hate AI, it does really help you get like a clearer view of everything, especially like when you have like a lot of thoughts like I do. And yeah, I just ask ChatGPT to break it down into like, who am I currently? from this paragraph that I have. I do exactly the same for the section of who do I want to be. I do a massive brain dump again. Where do 
do I want to be? What does this person do? Who is she? Like, what does she do in her spare time? What are her habits? Like, get a full view of the person that I want to be. And then after that is when we start looking at the goals that we have. So you can start putting in things such as, I don't know, you, like, I want to get fit and lose weight. Brain dump a bunch of goals that you have for yourself. Obviously, these are so individual and it depends on who you are and what you want to work on. It's about following the SMART goal framework, which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. Because if you don't follow this framework, it's really difficult to tell when you've actually achieved a goal. For example, to say that you just want to get fit and lose weight, you could get fit and lose weight. But once you get to that place where it used to be your goal, you never know what you're really working towards. Like to say that you want to get fit and lose weight, like what does that actually look like? How much weight are you wanting to lose? What does fit even mean? Like what do you actually want to, like what's, what are you working towards? Like that is just so, it's a loose goal. We don't want no loose goals. For example, for myself, like I would love to get monetized on YouTube. I have been making videos for so long and it is such a long game and I would love love, love, love that 26, 2026 was the year that I get monetized. And the goal that I've actually given myself is that by June of 2026, I will reach my 4,000 watch hours on my channel by posting one long form content video every two weeks and tracking analytics weekly. Also going back to the smart goals and making it realistic to say that I'm gonna post two videos a week to get monetized is so unrealistic because I have a full-time job. Like I do not have the time to do that. So what can I do without making myself super duper stressed and make sure that I can actually stay consistent? One thing that I know that I can do is make a video once every two weeks so that's my goal and hopefully that will then result in me getting monetized by june of 2026 like when we're working in this table it's just breaking everything down and it's a space for you to again just do like a bit of a mind dump but once you kind of like set on the goals that you have you want to then put them into this table once you finish in that section, we can leave it behind and we've done our reflection, happy days, and we've figured out what we need to work on for the next year to get to the person that we want to be. We can put that to one side. We're now going to focus on the goals that we do have and start to look at how we're going to get there, what are the tasks that we need to do, why this is important to us, and also like visualize it as well. So depending on kind of what you've done with the goals, for example, you've either got it as a focus goal or you put it on the bench, we can click into each one of these goals and I really, really recommend is to actually go in and add a picture and you can go over to Pinterest for take this picture and we can add that to our template, which I love to do. So when you come out and you view all of your goals, you can actually see this as a picture. So it's more of a live vision board is how I like to see it. So you can always see the visual side of your goal. And I'm a very visual person. So this is like really important for me, like to just see the gray squares. It doesn't give me the same effect that it does to see a picture that represents that goal. Like that just really solidifies what I'm working towards. So I recommend going through onto Pinterest and finding a picture for each and every single one of your goals to kind of help visualize it. So once you've set all the pictures for your goals, you can then go in one by one and start filling out what the goal is. Why do you want to achieve it? Because it's so easy to set these goals also and not really know why we're setting them. What does it actually entail? Like how do we actually get there? So this is a space for you to kind of really dive deep into each and every specific goal. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and create some tasks. So for this goal in particular, I have plan with me for 2026. So this is where you will kind of go into the goal and look at the to-dos that you have to do. So maybe you want to run a half marathon in 2026. Well, to get there, you need to maybe start a running plan. So you need to research a running plan. You need to maybe buy some new trainers. All of these things can be to-dos and go into your to-do list towards a goal. So you can set those deadlines, set these tasks so that you already have them in your upcoming task space. And once you tick off something, take your deadline date and it will say that that's the first time that you've shown up. So it's a way for you to see how many times you've shown up and the little things that you've done and since when have you been doing these things to show you how far you've come. I spent so many years focusing on 
the output. So how is my life going to look like once I achieve the goal? And I really sit with that thought a little bit too much and daydream a little bit too much with the outcome and what my life is going to look like when I get there. This is super common, obviously, at the start of the year when we're all setting our goals and we're all daydreaming and like, oh my God, this year is going to be amazing and I'm going to achieve everything that I've always wanted to, like, to do. And you have this momentum, but the problem is that you don't get to your outcome unless you, unless you put in the work every single day. And that's the not so romantic side of things. And when a goal feels so big, I think it's so natural to just like daydream about it. It does just release dopamine. It makes you feel really good. But by daydreaming, you're not going to get there. So so it's all about kind of the work that you put in and the things that you're doing every single day, whether that's through a habit or a task that's going to actually make it a reality. So this is a very input focused template where we are focusing on what we are doing every single day rather than just looking at the pretty outcome and the romanticizing of like what our life is going to look like once we achieve it, because we're never going to achieve it unless we do these teeny tiny tasks every single day. Yeah, that's what I love. And it's so great to me to visually see that for each and every single goal, how many times I've shown up for something. Once you've done all of that, you can also then start looking at the daily habits. So some things can be put as a task, but some things aren't and they should just be like a habit that you're doing day in, day out. One of my goals for this year is to achieve a B2 level of Spanish and to achieve that I have to study every single day, whether that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or an hour. It's about removing the big tasks and saying, okay, in my calendar, I'm going to sit down and study Spanish for one hour on Thursday and rather say to myself, okay, I'm gonna do this every single day as a habit and that's gonna help me get to where I want to be. You can go into your habit tracker once you've set all your goals, once you have an understanding of every single task that comes into it, you can then go into the habit tracker and this is the space where it's not connected so you have to like individually put in the habits that you have. So for me, I put in like the five pages which is related to my goal of reading six books for 2026, exercising for a minimum of 30 minutes a day, meditating and I also have a new one which I need to add which is my posture exercise because girl needs to work on her postures. And again, I can add like a picture to this posture. Bingo. So these are all of my habits right now and you can put some of them into save for later or you can keep them as habits, the ones that you're working on. I recommend that you don't have too many habits. Like I feel like I'm really pushing it with the five that I have. I think if I have any more, then it's just gonna be like super unsustainable and I'm not gonna be able to stay consistent with all of them. Here you can kind of see the, the week that you just had. So how am I getting on? You also have this progress bar. So depending on how many you've ticked off for the day, you can see how much you've achieved. You also then have a calendar overview as well. But then the nice thing about this is that you have a monthly breakdown. So this is really helpful for when you're doing the monthly check-ins to kind of see how you're getting on. So you can kind of see an overview out of all of the days so far in December, I've completed 69%. But the reading five pages, I only checked 39%. I know that that goal is something I need to work better on. Like, is it because I'm going to bed late? Am I going on my phone instead of reading? Is there any other way that I can reach my goal? and what's not working right now. So it's a really good way to kind of like reflect and stay very aware of what you're doing and how you're showing up. Another great thing that I love about the habit tracker and how I have it on my phone is I have a widget here, which when I click into it, it opens up my Notion template directly onto my daily habit tracker. So I can go in there and quickly just check off everything that I need to. So again, it's easy because it's it's all about keeping everything with the least, least amount of resistance. And for me, this is, I found that this is like the best way for me to stay on track with everything. So once you have like all your tasks, you've done your habits, all this kind of stuff, the last step is basically to just use your weekly planner or use the homepage if you just kind of want to simple overview. But if you want to kind of go a bit more in depth, you can go into your weekly planner and with every task that you have, you can move it to the day. It'll then show up here is your upcoming task. Depending on the day, you can have a weekly overview and then you can see tasks that you've got today, all tasks, any overdue tasks tasks, any undated tasks or any completed tasks. So that's a template. It's super simple and I really hope you love it. And if you have any questions, like please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help and give you any direction or any help in any way that I can. Every single year we are learning to become better versions of ourselves. It's not that 2026 has to become the year that you are the ultimate version of yourself, like that does not exist. Like there's no final version of us that is perfect. We are all works in progress and that's what makes life so amazing and wonderful and it's all about recognizing your small wins as much as your large wins as well and the things that you do every single day that makes your life 
so great and helps you get to where you want to be. So some little quick tips for sticking to your goals and making sure that 2026 is the year that you achieve the things that you said you're gonna achieve are making sure that you keep things visible. If you are setting your goals at the start of the year and then it becomes a distant memory once you get to February or March because you're not constantly looking at them, then you need to make sure that you're keeping them visible and it's somewhere that you can see them often, whether that's using this Notion template or you print it off on a list, you write it down on a whiteboard, you put it somewhere in your house you put it as like your background on your phone you want it to be somewhere where you are seeing it and you are able to measure it and see what you're working towards next is to do monthly resets i know this one is a little bit less fun but make sure you put time in your calendar every month every quarter whatever you decide to do and make sure that you sit down and spend at least like half an hour an hour going through what is working what isn't working what has happened where are you right now and reflect maybe you need to change a goal maybe you need to add something new pull something put it on the bench and maybe bring another goal into the picture if you don't go back and reflect regularly then you are going to end up being in the same place that you are at the end of every single year because if you don't know what's working and what's not working like how do you know where to put your efforts again i've said it before and i'm going to say it again which is to focus on the inputs rather than the outputs stop sitting and daydreaming about what life is going to look like once you achieve that goal once you become monetized once you can work remotely once you have extra streams of income or you are fit and you're feeling healthy stop romanticizing about that version of yourself because that is just a fantasy at this point and unless you put in the inputs and the work and do these tiny little habits every single day all these little tasks and you are never gonna make that a reality this vision of yourself is never gonna become the real version of you so that's like the biggest piece of advice I think I have is just focusing on the inputs rather than the outputs like just stop thinking about it obviously visualize it but stop spending so much time on it and wasted so much time rather looking at cars online that I can't afford or houses that I want to one day like okay if I make this much money I could move into this kind of house sis unless you actually go and do that you're never going to make that money to actually make that dream a reality so stop focusing on the outcomes yes it's great to have like a visualization and a dream and a direction but stop focusing and putting so much time and energy into that and start putting more of the time and energy into the things that matter which is showing up and doing the hard shit and the next and final tip that i have is to be realistic with yourself so easy to bite off more than you can chew i am victim to this and have been for several years but this year is the year that i'm just putting that to rest and i'm not doing that and it's about being realistic and saying okay would i love to upload a video every single week yes i would love to do that and i think that would be amazing if i could but the reality is that I, I can't, I don't have the time, I have a full-time job, I have other commitments, like that is not a reality and I'm gonna slip up and then I'm gonna end up feeling disappointed in myself and I'm gonna lose confidence. So what can I do? And also by being realistic, you build this confidence, you back yourself and you see that like, oh my God, I can actually do this and you have that trust, which then keeps you going. If you set unrealistic expectations, most likely you are gonna fail and then you're gonna feel like a failure and then that's gonna then have a knock on effect and make you feel like you can't achieve something, which is not the vibe that we want. Like that vibe, gotta go. We are focusing on being confident and having that I can do that attitude. So thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for what the new year has in store and I really hope you guys are too and I hope this template and video has helped you get that little bit more excited and a little bit more clear on what we're going to be achieving and how we're going to be achieving it. Thanks again for watching this video and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and give this video a like and as always I will see you in the next one. Bye!